everybody. Welcome to a Dice Throne Adventures live unboxing. This is our first sample from the factory. Uh, I have not seen it. We have Aaron Waltman behind the camera over here. You can see his hand <laughs> waving. Uh, Aaron, oh, by the way, we have a special announcement. Aaron is a, our first full-time Dice Throne employee. Uh, I am so, so excited that he's our chief operating officer. Uh, he's been running our conventions for a while. He uh, co-designed the Pirate with us. And uh, now he's working full time for Dice Room. And so he has prepared this sample um, from the factory put all together. I have not seen it. Um, I'm going to open it with all of you guys. So this is the box. Let's start with this. Uh, a few notes. Oh, look at that spot, Marge. I love it. Um, this is digital printed, which not to get too technical on you guys. It's darker than it will actually be in the final. Um, but it still looks fantastic. Look at that box. Uh, I'm going to show you in comparison to our previous thing. Uh, it is a beast, truth be told. Um, it is quite large. It does still fit on a couch shelf, uh, which was important to us, uh, but it is a little bit larger. There's a lot of content uh, in this box. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to go through everything. This might be a little bit of a video here. So this is the little advertisement uh, for other Dice Run products that we have. With those miniatures, looks great. Uh, the rule book, which is, we have been doing, this is where we spent so much of our recent time on. Uh, lots and lots and lots of work has gone into this, but we're, we're pretty happy with it. Um, huge shout out to, uh, to Gavin and Manny and John Hedrick has helped a lot. And who, there's so many people that have done this. We had a bunch of blind play testers who helped us. Yi has helped with this. Uh, we've had, we have a lot of people um, who have been contributing to this. Uh, so I'm really excited for all of this. Uh, we have the campaign score sheet, which talks about this, but when you play from your different sessions going through the campaign, you will record your score, you can report your score, and uh, see how you compare it to other people. So that'll be pretty fun. Oh, we have the standees here. These are excited. First, first punch, Aaron. You should you should have the honor. You want to reach for the other hand? Uh, gonna punch it? If we're gonna punch one first, then we gotta go with the. Oh, pirate. the pirate! Punch it. Nice. There is the cursed pirate. We'll see the little sands they are on in a minute. But these came out. One of the things that we uh, had on our campaign page is that these were all just uh, rectangles, and now they're a little more interesting than that. So I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. Uh, these are the portal shards that you will be collecting throughout the, the game, trying to build that epic dice to escape from the portal crawl. These came out pretty good. The big five CP tokens and three, uh, so these are a few we need to track how much CP a minion has, it ever changes, we'll use those. Anyway, I'll keep moving here, we got a lot to show. More tokens, the big salves, um, these heal you or can revive a teammate. Uh, these are the bonus damage tokens that we have. Man, this all came out really good. The king's hand tokens, so these are a new mechanic. What else do we want to show? Ooh, this interesting token. Are we I'm not even ready to talk about that token yet. We'll let them discover some of that. Maybe a few of these things. Well, these are interesting tokens, huh? We'll see what they do later. Uh, anyway, that's all in there. Where do you store all these things? Well, we have this awesome token tray. And man, huge shout out to Gavin and Gabriel. They spent the most time making this. And I will say there's a few things uh, that we know we're going to... So this is our first unboxing of the actual sample from the factory. There are a few things we know we need to change. Gavin did open this sooner. He said the lid was too tight. And yeah, I agree with him. Um, we, we do want it tight, uh, but basically... And there, we'll explain where you put all these. We'll have a little video that shows where they all go. But this is something that is meant to be on the table while you're playing the game. And so everything will be nicely organized where it all goes. Super, super excited about all this. And so we want it, we want it tight so tokens don't fly around, but we don't want it so tight that when you pull the lid off, tokens go flying. Anyway, we're working on that for sure. Man, this came out really nice. Nice thick plastic. All right, where else? I'm gonna go here. Oh, look at this. First, look at this. I love the big die on the front. So this, and it tells you right down here, this is where you store miniatures and other. This is where you store your standees. We'll, let's get the pirate set up for Aaron here. See what that looks like. There we go. Bam. There's a little pirate in the game, so you can put those in here. Uh, we have different dials. Now, I don't think we showed these yet. No, couple, these are new. Couple new things with these dials here. 
Uh, first off, we have this, this beautiful art uh, on them. Really, really happy with how that all came out. Manny's so gifted and talented with all this. Um, but you also notice that they are actually double-sided. Uh, so they have two layers. Our old dials did not have that. And we have health on one side and we have combat points on the other side. This is gonna make it much easier uh, to track throughout the game. So it was a little more expensive on our part, but we decided we just wanted to do it. It felt right to do it and they look beautiful. So all these dials will live in here. We also have the gold dial. So this tracks how much gold you'll have in the game. And these feel nice and firm so they won't go around. That feels pretty good. So we have those and then we have the dice cavity. Uh, so this has a little, like, I don't know if you can see it, there's an angled swoop down in here. Uh, so when you drop the dice, they'll just easily fall right in. And let's take a look at some of these dice here. These came out beautiful. Oh, I'm super, super happy about these. And they must be rolled, which means I have to show you ahead of time, I don't know if you've seen this either, the dice trays. And I'm super excited about these. Oh, they feel good. So they have just the snaps, and importantly, uh, these can fit right inside your box, right on top. Uh, it also fits in a standard dice drum box as well, nice and easy in there, so that can travel with you, no problem. And then when you're ready to roll dice, you just simply pin these corners together uh, very easily. And let's roll some dice. Oh, it's a good sound too, nice. These are the loot dice. They came out pretty well, got a nice gold sheen to them. I really like these dice rolls. Uh, let's see, so we give you two full sets of these Chaos Dice. Uh, you technically only need one, but it's more convenient to have two, so if you've got multiple players, you can pass them on the table a little faster. So we got all of those, and that takes care of this tray. Let's move to the next one. There's a lot of content in here. So we got another nice little flaming die lid, and in here, this is like Christmas to see all this stuff in person. Let's open this up. We have the loot table. This card came out really well. So this is when, let's, let's see what loot I get. I'm gonna roll, we're gonna roll four loot dice and see what I would get here. Well, let's say I had a, lead, or a, uh, a purple chest. Okay, so I got a one, 18, 13, and two. So the one would give me a, a, a plus two damage modifier. The two, did I say two? Is that what I got? Uh, yes, two would give me a, a plus three damage modifier. The 13 would give me three gold for the team, which I track on the dial. And the 18 would give me a rare unidentified card. Super happy that works. If I was fighting a boss, instead of this side of loot table, I would use the boss side. And these are always for sure loot cards that go directly into my deck. So it's much better guaranteed loot on that side. Okay, let's see, we got Rosella our fun shopkeeper. You can now sell cards to her, by the way. We'll talk more about that later. Um, but here's her nice little card. We also have her backstory, who she is and what she's doing back here. We have, I'm gonna hide it in case you don't wanna see it. We have the Mad King's leaflet and some new status effects on here. Uh, but that's coming. A little more about him. We have some other, there's gonna be a little bit of spoilers, by the way. If you don't wanna see all this, then, then don't watch everything. Um, but we have some of our bosses that are coming and all of theirs, of course, many beautiful artwork. We have the little bit of their AI rules. We have the frequently asked questions on here and we have their boards. Let's look at each of these. The fallen barbarian is the first boss that you will face. Oh, that looks great. Came out fantastic. Oh. Uh-oh, did we lose the live stream? Okay, we got it back. Aaron's going crazy over back there. <laughs> uh, so here's a Fallen Barbarian. I love the, the, the school border work that Manny did on here. It's, it's very, very cool. Uh, then you face the Fallen Gunslinger. Funny, fun backstory of the Fallen Gunslinger. Uh, if you guys watched, what is it, the season two Kickstarter video, you might spot him before you even realize it in that video. We'll leave it at, see what you guys say. Uh, the Fallen Monk. I am the storm. And the Mad King. I'm not gonna open this board. We're gonna just leave it like this. Wait, I'm gonna look at it. I wanna see it. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so this stores all those trays. 
It's got a lot of nice little touches too, like these little things down here. So uh, of course you have the, the hand cavity down here, but that lift up allows you to go under these a little bit easier. Um, you can also push, of course push on the corner if you'd like. Uh, but the little touches in this trace, this is by far the best tray system I've ever seen in my life. Uh, maybe there's better ones, but this is phenomenal. Oh, this thing is heavy. Uh, okay, let's open this caddy. This is our last tray. So let's see, there's a lot of content in here. I don't even know where to start with all this. Ooh, our minion cards. I have this sweet little box cutter from Aaron in here. And I don't know if I'm gonna open all these, maybe I will. Let's see. Okay, so here's our minions. Oh, they look so good. And we'll look at a few of them this way. They even smell like that new game Christmas smell. They have a nice linen finish on them. They, they came out really pretty. They have their little spot, um, the tray, in case you're wondering, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it says minions in there, so you don't have to wonder. You know that they go right there. Um, this is designed so, you know, if I need a level two minion in the game, I just go to twos, I can pull one out, and this is the minion that we're facing. So very quick access. They got the dividers there for them too, that way they can yeah. see. Yeah, so we actually show those dividers, I guess. Let me pull up these out. Oh, I not held these yet. Oh. So these uh, dividers are to make that process even easier. Let me, let me actually pull all this out and show you. I'm gonna pull everything out of the tray for just a quick second. So this is really clever. Um, if you look at these little like notches that are cut in here, uh, this is so you can actually slide these dividers uh, directly into those places. Now this one um, is big. They just sit on top like that. But of course I will spend time sorting all these later, but the greens will just go right in the greens, and so I can very quickly know I need a green minion. Here it is, I pull it right out of there, so it's even faster. Um, these ones are set down, they're recessed. Let's see, do I have, where are those letters at? Uh, oh, thank you, right in front of me. Open these bad boys up. Oh my gosh, these came out so good. Uh, these other cards, so like legendary loot cards, epic loot cards, rare loot cards. Uh, so where do you put these? Well, you put them in the loot card tray and you put these little dividers in here. And then as you're sorting them, these kind of stay in place. Now, one of the things that you'll notice, see how that like, if you push on a corner, it kind of falls out. So we get, yeah, we've already told the manufacturer they're redoing the fit of this so it stays even tighter in these little dividers, but you get the concept and I'm really happy about this. So it's very fast to find whatever kind of loot cards you need, just go to that section and there they all are. So we got uh, the different loot card dividers. We have uh, other cards in case you wanna use some just spare dividers. Uh, we have the decks for the Mad King um, and the different bosses. So those will all go in there as well on this side where it says boss cards. And we have all of those. Um, should we open, let's open one deck here. We'll open the Fallen Monk and we'll look at his. So there's their, they have this nice thick black border. These came out really good, really good. Yeah, really happy with all these. Uh, their AI roll objectives are all down there on the bottom. So if you haven't seen how that works yet, you just flip a card off the top of the deck and then each turn you're gonna, it's gonna change what you're trying to roll for in order to fight. So we have all those. Uh, what's, ooh, this is Legacy Pack 8. Do not open it, tell the instructor to do so, which means, sorry guys, you don't get to see that. Uh, Legacy Pack B. We have a lot of fun stuff there. We've got to see the tiles though. Let's open these up. This is where a lot of the weight comes from as you're traveling on the map. Here's what they look like on the back. Here's what they look like on the front. They're nice and thick too. So when they're on the table, it's very easy to just grab them and flip them over, which you'll be doing a lot of. They came out really, really well. For all those and they will live in here where it says environments man a lot of work is done in this tray and did i open all the things i can actually open here now let's see oh loot cards oh let's show some loot cards we gotta do that so some of these cards i don't know if i can show them or not some of them are foiled i can show legendary i'll show some legendary let's do that 
Okay, so you'll notice on the back, uh, you can't tell what's what. That's so that they can go into anybody's deck and you won't know what's coming up in there. Um, however, on this side, wait, we can't start with that card. I gotta start with the green cards. Okay, here's some greens. Uh, so we'll give you an example of some of these. The Regenerating Orb Equipment this is a new card in our game. Whenever a hero spends a salve, they heal for one additional health. That's a green card. You can have up to two pieces of equipment and they will remain, they're like a new passive ability that you've added to your character. We've got some rare cards. We've also added this little tiny symbol right here. Um, if, you, if you have that symbol, that means that tells new players who maybe don't know that they already have a get that out of here, in this case card, in the game, uh, that they, they have one in their deck already, so you replace uh, the other card that's in your deck. And so some of them, these are brand new, some of these upgrade other cards like So Wild. I know you probably want two So Wilds in your deck, you don't get two, sorry, you have to replace your other one. But this So Wild is completely free. It's pretty awesome. Now we also have, I'm excited for these, for our legendary cards, they are foiled. If you don't want to be spoiled, then don't look closely at the text on here. Uh, I don't know if that, is that foil showing up? Yeah, on there? yep. It came out really good. They are a bit darker than we prefer. I'll put these side by side. Uh, so we're having the manufacturer now work on, on brightening these up a little bit. But man, oh man, that foil looks so good. Oh, I can't wait to get these legendaries in my deck. Oh, look at even the, the classic cards. They look really, really, really good. Um, so let's see, we have those. We have, I guess we'll open this real quick. These are the actual scenarios that you're gonna be traveling through throughout the game. Let me pull these out. So as you know now, since the Kickstarter, we've changed it to uh, from four scenarios up to eight scenarios. And, we, and we've split it up a little bit more. So each one of these, uh, you have multiple level ones. And so these are random, uh, randomly drawn, but the different map layouts that you might have when going through scenario level one. And then scenario level two is always a boss battle. So you're fighting, there's only one scenario level two. You see the, the uh, fallen barbarian there and it's a boss battle. And then after you do that, you go on a scenario of three, and then again, they're all randomized, and then you have another boss battle, this time the gunslinger. And you can see him on the back there. So that goes all the way until you reach the Mad King himself, and then you will have some surprises I'm not gonna spoil for you. And I think that's all the content. Oh, we have a, I guess this is small, but we do have uh, some difficulty cards. So I will show you this. Uh, we have the new, oh, this is the boss battle turn order, by the way. I guess we've never revealed this before either. Um, so we, we now have, when you're fight, fighting the boss, it tells you right here, your quick reference for what that is like. On this side, if you're in a portal crawl, uh, quick reference for what that looks like. Uh, so it's just it's faster. You don't need the whole rule book um, to walk through the game. And then we have a few different difficulties that you can pick from the beginning. And maybe there's some more later in the game as well. So we got those. Is that everything? I think, I think that's everything. Of course, that all fits in this behemoth of a box, nice packed uh, together, and... It's upside down. It's upside down. This is a, just a sample, of course. Uh, there are a few more tweaks we need to make, but we are basically done, uh, which is very, very exciting. Uh, the rule book, I think we're just about done with that as well. Um, I think that's it. Is there any questions there that have come up? Anything we need to address? Uh, I think most of the questions have been answered by people in the chat. Uh, people ask whether or not the tray would hold sleeved cards. Yes, it will. Yes. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked how many minis will fit in the tray. And actually, that oh, brings us to a good cool. point. Thank you. Let's come on over here. Aaron, you want to show them some fun stuff? All right. So here are the factory proofs of the unpainted minis. So we have all of our season one miniatures here. And then into our season two minis. So the details are fantastic. They really are fantastic. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice or not, but they are fantastic. Super happy with how they came out. Uh, they're they're pre-painted minis with the wash. Unfortunately, I don't have those samples, but they're even better. Um, I'm not a miniature painter. If you are, more power to you, but the pre-painted ones are fantastic. Super excited about those. So let's grab that tray that holds all the minis, the one that's on the table over there. Yep, um, so we have, this is for standees, this is for miniatures, and so we can grab them all. 
up in here, and that's where you'll fit. So that is all the Season 2 Minis in there, and then you could actually get, if you use the standy spot as well, if you're going to have all Minis in here, then you can actually fit all the miniatures into this tray all at once if you also share the standy spot. It's really just so. this big, the big fatty uh, right here, the tree at needs his own little spot, but there you go. There's all the miniatures, all that nice little tray. And I think that's it. Any other questions anybody's got? Uh, nothing that I saw. We'll give him a couple minutes to catch up to our live video here. That's true, yeah. So let's start getting this all together here. We can show how it all goes back in the box. Yeah, that might be an ordeal, but <laughs> let's do it. So we're going to put all those in there. Let's, I'd have to punch all this stuff, so I guess we're not going to do all that. Well, we just show, show how the trays all fit back into the box again now that we've taken it all out of there. Sure. Small box of game night. Oh no, wait, I also need heroes. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, I think we're ready to sign out. Any other questions? All right, thank you guys so much. Super, super happy with this product. Chat more soon.